textile industry has been growing on average 51% over the past few years. It is one of the industrial sectors that drives the economic growth of Ethiopia. Under the GEF UNIDO project, AFLDC's capacity building, the Kombolcha Textile Share Company, the third largest manufacturing factory located in North Central Ethiopia, is hosting the pilot project on textile industry where the introduction of best available techniques and best environmental practices are demonstrated. About 65% of Kombolcha Textiles products are being exported. Despite having a long-standing reputation in the export market, the factory faces a few challenges as they use outdated machinery with a low level of technology. The chemist calculates manually the volume of pigments and chemicals required for preparing the customer's needs, repeating the process for several days until they find the right color. The dyeing part uses different dye stuff and chemicals. And when it comes to the printing department, we use different pigments and auxiliary chemicals. Before we start our task of dyeing and printing, we look at recipes of the customers. It is after having the recipe, we go to the lab to do a trial. When we try the recipe in the lab, due to the oldness of the laboratory, we cannot deliver the customer's order in a short period because there is an absence of basic latest equipment such as spectrophotometer, data color, and padding machine. Thus, we repeatedly try several dyes and chemicals which will create a load to the waste treatment plants. It is when we try repeatedly that we create a load to the wastewater treatment. Due to the absence of appropriate technology and best environmental practices, large amounts of dioxin-containing chemicals such as chlorinyl in certain dyeing pigments and alkaline extraction for finishing are released in the environment. Dioxin and furans are pollutants of global concern and they are unintentionally produced during the process of dyeing as byproducts. Other challenges faced by the factory are that they are using non-certified chemicals from suppliers that have dioxin and furans precursors. Among the many toxic pollutants contained in the wastewater, the international community is concerned about persistent organic pollutants because of their resistance to environmental degradation through chemical, biological, and photolytic processes. These toxic chemicals accumulate in the food chain and are also transboundary, causing serious impact on human health. They can also impair neuron development, cause sterility, and affect the endocrine system. Dioxins and furans are regulated under the Stockholm Convention on Persistent Organic Pollutants. The member state countries of the Stockholm Convention are committed to eliminate or reduce levels of dioxin emissions in the environment. But when it comes to the least developed countries, they lack the sufficient resources to implement the convention. To address this global problem, UNIDO carried out the pilot project to demonstrate how the textile industry of Ethiopia could adopt greener technologies in a more inclusive and sustainable manner with the help of incremental grants provided by the Global Environment Facility. We have what we call the Autolab, the Data Color Autolab TF88. This is a lab scaled machine for dispensing dyes and chemicals. So the accuracy in the laboratory has to be very, very, very precise. So in terms of this equipment, uh, precision is our key and this is what we test. So we have uh, the Autolab to dispense dyes at a very accurate level. We then have the solution maker, which also produces the dyes for the auto lab at very high uh, tolerance levels. The other piece of equipment we have is the spectrophotometer. The spectrophotometer is used to quality control and produce recipes for the textile environment, where we will be able to measure 
almost any sample and produce a recipe using the customer's dye stuffs. The other piece of equipment for uh, the laboratory is obviously the lab dyeing. So we use the Ahiba IR Pro and this is a piece of lab dyeing equipment which is very very accurately controlled in terms of temperature, heat rate, gradient. At the end of the day it produces a very high quality dye for the lab. This will save a lot of time in the lab and this is very key for us. Also this will produce accuracy and repeatability. So the key here is to make sure that our lab work is almost 100% to improve efficiency in the all round uh, processing from the garment to the finished product. Before the project, there was a large amount of chemical wastage and inefficiency. Unido has procured new machinery and alternative greener chemicals that help the Kombolcha Textile Share Company increase their efficiency and reduce persistent organic pollutants emissions. The newer machines reduce the level of dioxin and furans emissions at the factory by minimizing the amount of chemicals used in the process. Oh, and then there was a large amount of chemical wastage and inefficiency before the coming of these machines. For instance, if the amount of chemicals that are required to make a given recipe are 1 kg per single trial, this would consume 5 and 6 kg of chemicals in the previous manual ways, because the chemist makes trials for a week and more. Furthermore, Kombolcha Textiles started to purchase certified chemicals from a globally organic certified brand company. Hence. By reducing the level of emissions in the processing laboratory and purchasing certified chemicals, Kombolcha Textile is now successful in reducing persistent organic pollutants. Since this project has been carried out and successfully implemented in the least developed countries under regional economic communities in the eastern and southern parts of Africa, such as Komisa and Sadiq, it has set a standard for other developing countries in the region to adopt similar changes in technology and improve their own respective industries in terms of efficiency, sustainability, and eco-friendliness.